Hello guys and welcome to another campaign here in Victoria 2 with the historical project mod. So, uh, we played Afghanistan and we played Somalia. That was fun. don't really remember what I did before that, but uh, I want a chill campaign in this one. These two were pretty spicy. Uh, well, the Afghanistan was not necessarily that hard, I think. I think I got pretty lucky on that one. The Barsangali one was a bit of a pain though. Yeah, there's a lot of restarting and bullshit that I had to deal with. Uh, so really, what I want right now is a chill campaign. So we're going to play Brazil. Uh, I haven't done that yet. And Brazil is like the noob nation, but uh, eh. Just going to play some Victoria too, but I don't want to have to. I don't. I don't want to have to like stress out and make some sort of master plan where I'll need to like make sure to take this province before the British take it, or you know, got to rush over here before the Russians or. Blah, 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 blah. Or, God, don't even get me started on the whole Warsangali Somalia meme. Just want something where I can just jump in and not have to think about it. It's exam season, and I should be doing homework, but... I mean... They say you need to relax a bit as well, don't you? To not overwork yourself. Of course, I do not think... I will ever be capable of overworking myself. I think that's actually physically impossible. But... Um, so is the way of things. So yeah, uh, let me think. Have I ever played as Brazil? It's another one of those things that it would seem odd if I hadn't, but... I really can't remember ever if I have. Uh, as I said, I do not really have any specific goals for this campaign. Um, this will mostly just be for the sake of chill. It would be fun to try and like conquer Portugal or something, um, but uh, I did quickly load up the nation just to see what we had in front of us, and it seems that uh, well, the British already have uh, snuck their way into this part of our former empire, and I know it was technically the other way around, although it it was for a time like the United Kingdoms of Brazil and uh, Portugal, like technically co-equal, I think. Um, I actually restored that thing in Hoi 4. Don't think I'm ever going to schlep that on YouTube though, because after uniting it and conquering Spain, uh, nothing else happened. And it got boring, so couldn't be ours to play anymore. And it wasn't really that hard or extraordinary to do that, so. Uh, regardless, enough talk of Hoi 4. I've been playing that too much lately. I need to get back to my roots and play some Victoria. Uh, I am as surprised as anyone that I actually found some enjoyment in Hoi 4. It only took how many DLCs? And years for them to actually like make that game into something enjoyable. Um, but yeah, the British have also gotten their uh, fangs into Uruguay. Normally you could just, uh, you know, conquer them right early on. Because uh, there's actually some decent Brazilian pops down here. Quite decent indeed. These will not last long though. They will be gone soon enough. But... Um, as I do not feel like fighting the British at the moment, uh, we will not be able to invade them. Uh, normally I would like restart until I can get at least one CB for free, but I don't think I can be arsed this time around, because there's no small nation to conquer for 22 infamy. I mean, it's Haiti, but Haiti can be left alone, I think, this time. Um, I will start justifying on Venezuela, though, just because it takes so long. I'm going to hope that I can win this war against... Uh, the Rio Grande do Sul Rebellion. Honestly, that would be a fun campaign in itself. Um, but that will be for another day. I feel like I say that at all, of all campaigns people want me to play. I don't think there's a single person who wanted me to play Brazil, but... But, um, yeah, I'm not going to pretend I have, like, an excuse. <laughs> I've always been honest of the fact that I... Um, Generally, just play whatever the F I want. <laughs> and I ask for suggestions more out of a uh, more out of interest to see if anyone have any interesting ideas that might happen to line up with what I want, even if I might not have known that I wanted it at the time. If that makes sense. Yeah. So you, some of you might be flinching at the fact that I'm mobilizing, but. Um, I mean, these guys can bring some troops to the fore. I mean, that's that's not insignificant. They get a bunch of like bonuses and shit. Um, 
That boosts their shit quite a lot. Uh, we have fuck all for generals. So I really do not know what we want here. I think we would want them to attack me. Oh, of course, that depends entirely on what kind of general they field. Which is sadly something I do not know. Okay, well, ah, yeah, he's a clever little fucker, is he? Hmm. Could just let him occupy my shit and then just uh, take his in return. Ah, oh, that's going to be a lot of attrition, though. Let's see, scare him off. Yeah, you go, go, you go, have fun in the jungle and take some attrition, and then I'll see you later. I'll go start occupying your shit. Take that. Get some generals. It said I had two. Oh, I guess uh, my glorious. Or, no, where are you? So I get best bet is in one of these mobilized boys. Yeah, here you are. Manuel. Ooh, I do not like the prestige yet, but it's not like we have any prestige to begin with, so what does it matter? There we go, that's a good bonus to have. Yeah, the reason... Um, wait, oh yeah, the reason we're yeeting Venezuela as quickly, if I didn't point that out is because they're already cordial with the British, so I want to get a chunk out of them before the uh, before they become friendly, like in Uruguay. And I know Uruguay has like rebel problems, but in a little test game I did, they, um, the rebellions do not actually kick the British out of the nation. I think there's an event or something, some bullshit or other, um, that stops that from being a thing, I must say. But, well, if we cannot have Uruguay, I think we shall annex a chunk of Venezuela. It will look stupid for most of the game, but I think if I can fulfill my ambitions, it will look fine after all. Let's see, juice checks, check, yeah, click that, just so we get the options. Let's see, trade policy? No, what was it? Yeah, options. Uh, leave the options alone. No micronations or other crap you have to disable in this. Now where are you will you go? Pasafundo? Ah, you're gonna go rescue your capital now, are you? Honestly, I wouldn't mind. Nope, nope, you're gonna run into the jungle again. Isn't there a song about that? Jungles. Get into the jungle! No, welcome to the jungle, that's what it's called. Yeah, I know these things. I'm a smart boy, trust me. Yeah, look at him, dying in, dying of attrition. I mean, I'm also dying of attrition and getting, well, not awful rolls, but worse than I would prefer. Lines from Uruguay, yeah, wouldn't that be funny? Uh -huh. I'll have that. Enjoy my war. You will not accept, well, if you will not accept, then I do not see the point of being an ally of you. So I shall politely, actually no, why you be polite, I shall rudely ask you to fuck off. Now you're going to Lajes to kill my sheet, I uh, will not allow that. Go, go find some other jungle, have, have your fun. Or will you force me to move into a region that I cannot afford or where I have too much uh, force limit or whatever. Here he comes again. Stop that. That's right. Yeah, this is a war about winning, of course, but also winning in a way that doesn't kill all my troops, because I've got shit to do. Uh, Latin American nations are not very good at recovering in the early game. Once they've lost the initial brigades they get, then they generally do not get to have brigades for a while. Let's start retaking some of our shit though. That war exhaustion is getting a bit nasty. Now, with militancy does not matter much to us though, to be fair. Um, as uh, of, After all, militancy only gives us bonuses, as it lets us pass reforms. And we have quite a lot of slaves in our country that we want to get rid of. 
No, not get rid of, that would be a waste. But liberate and educate. There they come. Uh, we got ourselves defense. Well, as good of a defense general as we can have. Let's see, how many guys can I send in without them getting scared? Only one. No, now they don't want to. Even, now they don't even want to go. Aware of L, if you're gonna not, if you're not gonna be any fun, then I'm gonna push south too. Venezuela and menace, yes, they're quite the menace, aren't they? Could actually probably afford an attack here, although so darn close to actually just. Uh, Eating these poor sods out of their existence that I'm starting to think we might even we might not even have to fight their army. Let's see. Oh, so nice being a monarchy. Then again though, I am a uh, magi her majesty's government. No constitutional monarchy. What, what, what are my laws? Um I do not know. I know HFM the HFM guy has been adding stuff. Oh, holy shit, well, I guess I've been dying from attrition too. Holy shit, look at that. There goes all my brigades. Yeah, let's not even lurk in this goddamn cursed uh, jungle. That is an expensive jungle to lurk in. So much for me trying to save my troops. Right, he's going to try and take his capital back. I think at this point it doesn't matter much. I think even he should have to admit that he has lost. And no battle lead and they even had to be fought. I don't know if this was the optimal thing to do though. In hindsight, well, I don't know. I really just don't know. Go away. Uh, we'll, ex mm. we'll extend slavery for now. Um, just because it lowers the uh, consciousness of everyone else. Consciousness makes people liberal. And I do not want that at the moment. Oh, Venezuela has become friends with these guys. They're cordial with the Americans. Dangerous, that. Dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, we need to get in there quick. Before the Americans come up with the dumb excuse to join. British aren't doing too much for influence though. Hopefully the whole Central American Republic will just be abolished soon enough. Here Uruguay goes, scanning rebels again. Still friendly though. Okay, just yeah, give me all your artillery, essentially. And uh, we'll lurk up. Okay, no. What were the Farapos? Yeah, so these are just things that give us nationalism. I do not know if there are events that... Because uh, I know there are other revolter tanks in Brazil. Up here. Um, but I do not know if any of those will spawn by event, or if that's just going to be event-based. We have our CB, though. Getting worried about this... Uh, no, okay, it's not that fast. We should be able to win in quickly enough, especially if we can get Colombia to join us. Tempted to try and ally Venezuela to reject rejected him originally because I was afraid that he was going to start some silly war with Peru that I wouldn't want to get dragged into and lose my precious prestige, but I mean in hindsight it's not like we have any prestige, so what does it really matter? Yeah, stop paying for the navy. We're not made of money. There goes my goddamn prestige either way. Oh well, let's have ourselves a war. None of these glorious allies of mine are even interested in joining. Actually, can I ally Mexico? Oh, he's a war with France. What? Really? That's a bit early, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> it's rare to see the AI go for that debt shit. Interesting. Well, have your way. Haiti. No? I mean, don't you want to liberate the slaves of uh, of uh, these other lands? No, 
Chile? Yeah, you're a bit busy. Uruguay, you love me for some reason. Let's see if you want to join. I doubt he would be. Well, no, he can mobilize a bit of ravioli, can't he? No, they're all rubbish. To hell with them then. We will do this on our own. Honestly, it would have been. It would have been excellent if we could. Um, France wants to. Yeah, sure. Get in here, boy. Lad. Friend. And he wants to be a. Dude! I do not see the point of this whole alliance scheme of yours. If you're not even going to help me. And yeah, I know I'm like killing my navy by running around like this, but. Eh. My navy is not long for this world either way. Now, I think I will actually attack these guys before they mobilize any more dudes. Let's see, can we catch you? Nope. Actually, no, we totally can. Hmm. Don't have my full numbers though. We're going to get those relatively soon. Oh yeah, they don't even have any any general bonus. And victory. Now we just need to occupy some land and lose more of our troops. So be it. I'll see. Yeah, these guys really are dying. I mean, I don't want to just have them die that quickly. That's a bit of a rush. Hey, Columbia, give me access. That'll actually be a better place to place my fleet. Yeah, this occupation will take a while. Um... So, you go there, and I will not actually force you guys to sit here and watch me painfully slowly occupy Venezuela. The Gambanagan Revolution. Grau Para has been a separate vice royalty, or until 1822, Grau Para had been a separate vice royalty from Brazil, reporting herself directly to Portugal. The vice royalty united with Brazil in the fight against Portugal, but once the fight for independence ended and a provincial government named by Brazilian emperor was installed, the local leaders were marginalized from power. A rebellion broke out in 1831 in the military garrison at Belém, involving one of these leaders. One of these? I don't know. Batista Campos, which was jailed. Uh, the indignation of the poor grew, and in 1833 already there was talk of converting Brazil into a federation. Uh, the provincial president unleashed a repressive political wave in an attempt to contain the separatists. The name Cabenagem refers to the type of hut used by the poorest people in the province. The uh, elite agriculturalists of Guarapara, while living much better, resented the lack of participation in the central government decision-making. Uh, which was dominated by the provinces of uh, the southeast and northeast. All right, yeah, it's just gonna make a lot of ravioli heads salty. Brazilian reactionaries. Hmm, interesting. Could turn me into an absolute monarchy. A bit early for that, though. How about a look in the files? And um, you, Brazil gets a couple of like irredentist decisions um, to expand their course. Uh, they can both be taken if you're fascist, but one of them can be taken if you're an absolute monarchy. So. Mm, it might be worth not going fascists, just and you know we can still get something. More revolution crap. Political power disputes arose in the heart of the elite class. Yeah, you can read this yourself, but yeah, just just more uh, just more salty boys. How close are we to getting uh, some reforms? Yeah, uh, eh, surprisingly not close to be honest. Ah, anyways. Seems they're willing to give up. I would take some more land, of course, but... That Jingoism does not cooperate. Yeah, Jingoism has gotten a lot worse in HPM recently. Um, you need to have 7% Jingoism now, unlike the 5 you needed earlier. Or was it 6? It was 5, wasn't it? I guess that's to compensate for the new decision that lets you get some Jingoism. Well, that decision is kind of garbage, to be honest. And... Honestly, if he wanted to try and make the whole jingoism problem in the game better, then honestly, I would say he's just made it worse. Anyways, uh, the Americans are actually friendly with the Republic of Central America. And I was actually like panicking a bit because I was like, what? Doesn't that mean they should intervene? 
But uh, let me actually do a shout out, if that makes sense. Um, damn it, I was going to do this cool thing where I was going to like reference the uh, what guy in the co I could have swore someone in the comments uh, pointed a thing out that I never really thought too much about. But um, well, regardless. No, no, he must have commented. I'm not that insane. My well, point is, uh, at least what I think, he, if I remember correctly, what he said is that as long as you don't actually have a war goal against the nation that is friendly with a great power, then it doesn't matter that you have a war goal against another nation. Because unless you have a war goal against the specific nation that is, you know, good friends with uh, Daddy America, it doesn't matter. So I never needed to be afraid that the Central American Republic was going to be friendly with these guys because, well, I don't have a war goal against them, and so it is all fine. And that is, well, that is good in this situation, of course. <laughs> While I was looking through the comments, I had a <laughs> one of the guys was like, um, he said, I'm going to stop watching your Let's Play, you make such ugly borders. Uh, yeah, I can I can actually totally understand that, but my point though, or the reasoning, not a justification, mind you, but the reasoning that I um, that I make these horrid horrid borders every time I play is that this is the way the game forces you to play. Like I want a clean border where I own all of this shit in the north, but realistically, I have to take like I can only the only thing I can take in the north right now is this. Can't take these things because these guys are too powerful. Um, like you have to make these cancerous borders. Borders in Victoria 2 can only really be good at the end of the game because that's when um, that's when you've been able to like clean things up, if you will. And so until you can actually clean your sh shite up, uh, things are kind of bound to be garbage, aren't they? And uh, like I just blame that on the game design. Anyways, though, got ourselves some nice territory here. Just one. There were some Irish people. No? Ah, I guess they must have assimilated. That was fast. Goddamn Irish people. Why is it with Irish people and giving up their own native language and culture? To take up another one. That was a very rude joke, I, I guess. I know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> know that it was a joke. Any Irish people in the comments? I don't think I have many Irish viewers though, so I think I'm I think I'm safe. I'm not gonna be car bombed. Oh god, I'm just digging myself deeper into the hole, aren't I? <laughs> oh fuck me. Aha! Don Pedro the Second, nicknamed the Magnagamus. Mac Mag. I'm having a stroke, aren't I? Magnaminus was the second ruler of the Young Empire of Brazil. Born in Rio de Janeiro, he was a member of the Brazilian branch of the House of Barraganza. His father abrupt education and departure to Europe in order to restore his daughter on the throne of Portugal left a five-year-old Pedro II as emperor and led to a grim and lonely childhood and adolescence. Still, he grew into a man with a strong sense of duty and devotion towards his country and his people. On the other hand, he was increasingly resentful of his role as monarch. Inheriting an empire on the verge of disintegration, he turned it into an emerging power with an important economic growth. Distinguished from its neighbors on account of its political stability, still, despite its overwhelming popular support, Pedro II quickly became wary of emperorship, emperorship and despaired of the monarchy's future prospects. This is the mad lad with the beard, is it? I think even among Brazilians today is remembered as an absolute chad. The, Brazil the Brazilians really kind of fucked up, didn't they, when they um, abolished the monarchy. I know it was, you know, not the decision of a majority of Brazilians, to be sure, but they really messed up. Well, I say that, of course. I'm biased. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not. I am an unironic monarchist. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, uh, I stream so much on Twitch that it's almost weird um, just talking on YouTube without there being any chat. 
responding to my garbage. Obviously, the advantage of making YouTube videos like this uh, without streaming them is that, uh, for reasons I've explained a bunch of times before, I can edit these videos so that they aren't quite as garbage as the shit that I just uh, make from my Twitch VODs. That is why, you know, whenever you see HPM in the title, uh, the videos are edited. But, uh, yeah, normally it would get me... Normally when I say I'm an unironic monarchist, people will start bitching at me. Because I've earlier said that I'm very... I'm also very leftist. And people think that being leftist and a monarchist is kind of a hypocrisy. I would say that means you misunderstand individuality. And that's not necessarily a good thing, obviously. But why is Carentis independent? I hope that's not a bug. Uh, do you have course on them? Yeah, you do. Good. Yeah, because I want to incorporate Paraguay at some point. Um, so I need Brazil to take this province back before they do, for the sake of infamy conver conservation. Regardless, we'll uh, deal with that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, bye!